here I am working with my Liberty Rain on just little half steps and Piaf collection. And I'm just trying to work with some simple exercises for suppleness and getting our communication a little bit better before I decide to get on him without the bridle. So in the Liberty Line progression, this would be showing the Liberty Rain line phase where he's online. And I'm trying to just, again, work out what I'm going to ask him for on the ground before we go to the mounted work. So he's doing really good. I give him a treat every time I see he gives me a good try. He likes that. He says I can try to pee off a lot if I can have treats. And it's a good time to take a little break and rest. So here I'm going to do some more what I call Liberty Rain uh, prep work. I'm asking him to follow the feel of the Liberty Rain, just to make sure that he understands. You can find these exercises also on my um, virtual clinic site. Here I'm doing a shoulder suppling exercise with my touch training. Again, just getting a feeling of softness and lightness and doing some basic warming up muscle exercises, working on our communication. So here I'm going to work on the hindquarter a little bit. I saw that when we were working on the line with the neck strap that he was a little bit stiff in his hips so I'm working a little bit more with touch training and this little hip suppling exercise. So that was a good job. Let's go get some more treats. It's good to be really careful about um, repetitions you do to make sure that you know this is meant to loosen and supple the horse and not to make him sore and uncomfortable. It is horse yoga. Here I'm doing another hip suppling, but a little bit more at liberty and with the touch. Just asking him to step around the circle and cross his hind leg. So that's good. More treats for a good job. So here I'll work a little bit more in hand with the Liberty Rain. Again, suppling the hip a little bit. Putting my hand where my leg would go, just make sure he's reacting well to a light feeling from my hand, so I don't have to use a lot of pressure. And here we are mounted. Checking on him following the field of the Liberty Rain for safety again. To also use backing up as a suppling exercise. This horse does tend to be quite stiff through his hind end, so it's good to supple him 
in all possible ways to make it easy for him. So I'm really just reviewing the same things I worked on on the ground with him. Can you do a nice bending circle? And these smaller volte sized circles are excellent for natural collection. The horse has a desire to collect in a shape of this size. Working on suppling the hips a little bit on your saddle. Same circle exercise. You see my progression here really well, you know, really asking for the same things that I show on the ground. Give him a chance to get comfortable with my weight on him. And checking for lightness. Make sure that he's very light to the feeling of the Liberty Rain. This horse can be quite heavy on the forehand. So for me, it's a, um, a little bit of a reminder to him. Here, working on a little bit of lateral movements on the wall, shoulder in. A little stick here on the left you can see here, and that's why we work on that, to help free up that left hind. Cannot do even work if he's weaker on one hind leg than the other. Just a little full pass to the wall, into shoulder in. Again, you can see that this one is a little bit smoother and easier for him. It's good to see the difference in the two. These exercises are very, very good for a horse like him. He tends to be a little stiff in the back, also trying to get him to free up and get a little more soft. So here we're trying our left shoulder in a little bit more after doing some more of that. See again, a little less fluid than the right. And I don't mind. That's part of this work. This is his yoga. And I don't mind if he has a little bit of trouble on one side. That's the whole purpose of it, is to get that side a little bit better. working a little bit on the haunches. So usually on the first pass, it's not as always as smooth, but there you see he's a little bit better on the left hind haunches in. So that's a good warm up from the shoulder in. You can see this one's a little bit better, a little smoother. It's really nice. It's important to allow the horse to have the time and the patience to explore the movement, just like if we go to a yoga class and it wasn't so easy for us the first time. So here you start to see him framing himself for the collection as I start to ask him to think about a little bit of collective steps on the volte. Really nice. Again, using the small bends to build him up to that. A couple really nice more steps. Then stretch out. Rest. Here. Getting into more Piaf steps. You can see as he gets more and more warmed up, he gets better. And again, notice how on what would be the left rein, it's a little bit uh, harder for him. But you see he gets better as he works up into it. The rhythm gets more consistent. 
It's really nice to see him progress into a better and better one. He's trying harder and harder, bringing the same amount of energy. And then a little stretch and reward for that. A little bit of canter collected, we start working on. A little rain back again. Take a little break, a little stretch. And it's always fun to throw in a little jump. More fun with Fire Jet Horsemanship.